Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to another day in the life. I got up about an hour ago and turned my coffee pot on. I laid back down and relaxed, and now I'm up and ready for some caffeine. Now I'm opening up my windows to let some of the natural light in. It rained all morning, so it's kind of yucky out, but at least it's not dark and gloomy. I'm not gonna play hard to get to. But anyway, I'm gonna do some cleaning in here and stuff, but I really wanted to show y'all these new boots I got, especially for the winter time. Obviously not right now, cause it's still warm out, but I'm really looking forward to wearing these when it gets colder. So both boots are from the same shop. They are two different kind of boots, so they have two different looks. The first pair I wanna show you, I'm literally crazy about. They are just the cutest boots I've ever seen or owned. They are all white. They have a really cute quilted pattern look and this luscious fur at the top. They are also waterproof and winterproof. They block out cold and snow. They lace up in the front, no zips or anything, and they are also mid-calf. They are so comfortable. I could literally wear these every day, and they also come in black. Next up are these boots. They are called winter duck boots. And honestly, I've never owned a pair of boots like these before. So I'm really excited about them. They're also waterproof and duck inspired and they have a rubber shell. So these ones actually zip up on the side but also tie in the front, which I thought was really nice. They are perfect for outdoors, whether it's raining or snowing or you could even use them while you're gardening. They come in different colors and patterns, but I chose this one because I just love the colors and the design. If you wanna check out these boots or the shop that I got them from, I will have it linked down below in the description. I don't need nobody else but me. So now that I'm done showing you my shoes, I'm going to do some quick cleaning in here, but nothing major, just some quick everyday cleaning and picking up. And then I'm going to get ready for the day. I've got to run to a few stores and I've also got to go down to the leasing office of our apartment. So I just want to hurry up and get things done in here so I can do whatever else I've got to do today. But don't forget that later in the video, I'm going to be doing a try on of the boots because I wanted to show you how they look on me and show you a few different outfits just off the top of my head that I would wear them with. So stay tuned for that. So like I said, I'm just going to do some quick cleaning in here. I'm just wiping off my icebox really quick and then I'm going to wipe off all of the countertops in my kitchen. I don't need nobody else but me. But I'm thinking about the way you I have not been sleeping good at all. I don't know what's going on with me, but I'm just not sleeping. I'm up off and on all night, and honestly, it's making me feel like I'm going crazy because your body needs rest and it needs a good amount of sleep, and I'm just not getting it, so I'm feeling so cray cray lately hopefully this passes soon so i can start feeling somewhat normal but the point of me saying that was because i ended up moving from the bed to the couch last night to see if that would help and even though i slept a little bit better i was so cold because i didn't have like thick enough blankets on me and it made my leg hurt really bad where i have the pins and plates from the car accident so i was miserable and the point of me telling you that was to explain why my couch was 
extra messy today. Duh. So anyway, moving on, I'm gonna vacuum the floors now and then I'm gonna make my bed quick. And we're also gonna have some lunch. I'll show you what we're having for lunch. And I also got some things in from Gerard Cosmetics that I wanted to share with y'all as well. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. grocery store we just got back we were starving neither one of us had breakfast today so I'm making us lunch we both had the rotisserie chicken salad from HEB so I made two chicken salad sandwiches Alan likes his toasted with cheese and tomatoes I normally eat mine on just plain bread not toasted but I decided to toast mine today to see if I'd like it better and then we picked up these chips from HEB whenever we went and he's having the ranch flavored and I'm having the cheese so then I took a shower quick and I'm just doing a little skincare so I'm applying some eye serum a face serum and then a face lotion and then I'm gonna do my makeup off camera so I'll show you what I look like before and after so not only did I get two amazing packages I also got something else I wanted to show y'all real quick and I wanted to remind y'all that I was going to be doing a try on so stay tuned for that because you're gonna want to see these on because they are so cute so this package came in from Gerard Cosmetics I have not taken it out of this yet because I wanted to show y'all how cute it was so this piece over here is individual I'll show that in a second but look how cute this was all packaged up in the little gold pouch and it just looks adorable so the first thing we have here is the starlet palette and this is what they look like i love their highlighters they are so pretty next up i got a mini bottle of the watermelon slay all day setting spray then i also got three lip items here, two lipsticks and one color your smile lip gloss. I love Gerard Cosmetics lipsticks and lip glosses and even their lip creams. They are awesome. I'll show you what the colors look like real quick. So the first one we have here is Kim Chi Doll and that's how she looks. She's gorgeous. 
Next up, we got Buttercup, and this is how she looks. And then this is the Color Your Smile lip gloss in the shade Spring Fling. It has a mirror on one side, and it also lights up whenever you open it. So there's the light whenever you open it. It has like a bright light, so you can put your lip gloss on in your mirror. This is the Watermelon Setting Spray. And then these next items are all new from Gerard Cosmetics. This is the first time I've ever heard of them having lashes, so I had to grab some and try them. Oh my gosh, these look massive. Whoa. Anyways, <laughs> they're all beautiful. Um, but these two are for top lashes. I got them in the style Realness. That looks more like my style. These look really big. <laughs> this one is Savage. And then this is that name. Um, these are actually for bottom lashes. I've never tried bottom lashes before. I've always wanted to. So I got them. And then they also have a lash liner glue. I wanted to test that out, so I'll be trying these. That's gonna be really fun. So yeah, that's everything I got from Gerard Cosmetics. Check them out, I'll have them linked down below. But let's move forward. Okay, so now it's time for the try-on. I'm gonna be showing you what both boots look like on me. I'm starting off with the plaid duck boots. For the first outfit, I'm pairing these boots with a pair of leggings. I have on a plain black cami, and then I'm tying a plaid shirt around my waist. Even though these shoes are like made for winter, you could wear these all year long. They're even cute, especially for fall, so they would go perfect with an outfit like this. Now instead of the plaid shirt wrapped around my waist, I'm showing you this look with a cardigan. And then I'm also gonna be showing it with another shirt, which is like a sweater type, just to give you an idea of how these boots could literally go with different styles. So now I'm trying on the white boots. These are just so cute. These would also go really well with leggings, but I wanted to show you how they looked with a pair of jeans and the same sweater that I had on with the leggings and then we're gonna switch it up. I ended up putting on a white cami and my new coat that Alan got me for this winter. Honestly, y'all know I'm not a fan of the cold, but I can't wait to wear these boots in the winter time. I think they are just so fun, so cute, and they are going to look so good with all of the outfits that I have in my closet. Okay, so now it's time to make dinner, and honestly, I haven't made these steak foil packs in so long. I kind of forgot how to make them, but I'm just gonna roll with it. So this is everything that's going in the foil packs, including the seasoning. So I'll be using salt and pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder, some butter, some roasted garlic oil, and some of this. Also adding in some potatoes, steak, squash, baby corn, and tomatoes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut up the vegetables and the potatoes. I usually use baby potatoes, but I'm just using regular potatoes for this. I'm putting all the vegetables in the bowl first, then I'm gonna get the steak ready and season it and cut it into chunks. Also, in the middle of doing all this, I realized that the steak I was using was a lot thinner than what I usually use for this, so I took out the potatoes that I had just put in the bowl, and then I boiled them for about five to seven minutes just to soften them a little bit before adding them in because I figured the potatoes were gonna take longer than the meat. So once the potatoes were done, I just drained them, mixed it all together, got the foil ready, and started making the foil packs. I made about six of them. I tried to put a good amount in each one of them, and then I put a little bit of butter in each one as well. Anyway, after that, just wrap them up, put them in the oven. I have my oven preheated to 425, and I'm going to let them cook for about 20 minutes, and then I'm going to check on them. So we'll see how it goes, and I'll show you what they look like after. So anyways, here is the finished product. They turned out perfect, and now it's time to eat, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I want to say thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!